part of it was filmed at the D-Lo Water Park. If you see the ladies in the water in Old Brother Who Are Out Thou, that's the D-Lo Water Park that they're filming that movie in. Okay. They just filmed a movie called The Help in Greenwood, Mississippi, and $12 million uh, was added to the uh, community because of the investment of that one movie. So we've got a lot of opportunities ahead for Mississippi. That's great. So while we're trying to, the state is trying to gain more jobs and lower tax cuts and, I'm, I'm sorry, lower taxes, and you mentioned about lowering the tax on clothing during mm -hmm. the holidays. Mm -hmm. Tax cut are, holiday. Are there any other areas that you would propose tax cuts? Sure. If you look at the inventory tax, this was something that was put in um, uh, decades ago, and, and basically it says if I uh, have automobiles I'm trying to sell, I have to pay taxes on them when they're parked on my lot. Even though I paid sales tax on it, if I bring equipment into my storage facility, almost everyone that has an item uh, in a warehouse has to pay an inventory tax. It's, it's a terrible, ridiculous thing that says just because uh, if I'm selling desks and I put a hundred desks in a storage building, I've got to pay taxes on them every year because they're sitting there. If we would remove that, I think you'd see businesses and warehouses rush into Mississippi and say that I no longer have to have to worry about paying every year for my product that is just sitting in a warehouse. That is very important. We need to add to the tax cut holiday school supplies, backpacks, pencils, pens, things that people buy, parents buy, and going back to school. So for that one weekend, you won't have to pay sales taxes on your back to school supplies. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Now, you've received many endorsements throughout mm. your campaign, and is there any, any particular that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, I, I just really, I'm an outdoorsman. I love to hunt, uh, and I'm a former law enforcement officer, so when the National Rifle Association, the NRA, endorsed us, we were very proud of that. I'm very pro-life. Mm -hmm. So when uh, the Mississippi Right to Life endorsed the campaign, we were excited. The largest business association in the state of Mississippi is Mississippi Realtors. We have their endorsement. We have the endorsement of the Mississippi Medical Association, the Mississippi Home Builders Association, and just this week, uh, Don Wildman, who is the executive director of the American Family Association, endorsed the campaign. Those are some that I'm particularly proud of. Uh, every organization in the state of Mississippi, business organization, religious organization, conservative groups that uh, issue endorsements have endorsed our campaign. Well, that is. Great. It is exciting. Yes. Now, if some of you may not know, Mr. Bryant has a 15-page vision for this our state of what he can do for Mississippi. Any few tidbits you'd like to share with us? Yeah, there's a couple of things we've got to look at. For example, in education, we talk about charter schools. Mm -hmm. it, it is critically important in failing school districts that children have an opportunity for their choice, a choice to go to a chartered school somewhere where uh, they, they have an opportunity to get a better education. Charter schools are public schools that say we're going to operate under new rules. We may go to school five and a half days a week. We may not have a football team or a band. We're going to concentrate on academics, but 95% of the children in most charter schools around America graduate and are prepared to go on to college. We have to put in modern skills training into high schools. A lot of children in high schools decide not to go to college, so we should be able to train them in computer uh, software in the energy sector, uh, to be able to do uh, be a technician in automobiles and, and trucks, so that when they come out of high school, they have a skill that they can go to work. Uh, if you come out of high school today and you don't go to community college and learn a skill or you don't go into college, it is impossible for you to find a job because you have no skills. You're not qualified to go to work. Mm -hmm. So we've got to start learning and teaching more modern skill, working within the high school. As we talked about uh, earlier, we're going to work very, very hard uh, on tourism in the state. We think we have a beautiful product to sell and it's called Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go out uh, and do more to market our country music trail, our blues trail. Uh, as I said earlier, we're going to uh, start making more movies in the state of Mississippi, which brings people from all over the, uh, the country here, and developing the energy sector. We have talked about a clean energy opportunity where we began to use plants that are nuclear power plants, for example. We'd love to have another nuclear power plant. We have one in Fort Gibson. I want a second one there. 
health care, we want to bring a thousand new physicians into the state of Mississippi by 2025. Every doctor that comes into community brings $1.5 million with him as he comes in to build that clinic to hire nurses to get assistance. The medical uh, community and industry is growing because we're all getting older. The baby boom generation is there and we're going to need physicians and we want a medical city as we call it, built in Jackson, Mississippi, near the University Medical Center. Okay. Those are just a few things that we're looking at. Well, do any of you <laughs> want to be doctors? <laughs> well, Mr. Bryant, we are almost out of time, but is there anything you would like to tell our voters from Mississippi? Well, one thing I want you to think about is when you're hiring someone to be your governor, and that's exactly what you're doing, uh, think of uh, how you would go about hiring an employee. Is that person qualified? Uh, do they have the education, training, expertise, and experience to do that job? Um, being Lieutenant Governor has been a, a fascinating experience. I've been, as Governor Barber has, uh, has been out of state on occasion uh, business, I've been acting governor many, many times. Uh, so I have the experience to be able to walk into that governor's office and begin work that first day. And it's critically important to have that uh, and to be prepared to take over the uh, very important job of being governor of the state of Mississippi. Okay. All right. Well, as you can tell, Mr. Bryant has the potential and leadership to serve as your next governor if you choose to elect him for the state of Mississippi. And if you'd like to find out more information on Phil Bryant, visit his website at www.philbryant.com. And you can also check him out on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have not received your flyer about Phil Bryant, be sure to check, about, check it out on the mail. All right, well, we thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Great job. I'm Christy Wilson with McGee News. Stay tuned for tomorrow's show. Thank you.